Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. At least 20 civilian passengers have died from an airstrike released by the Saudi-led coalition hitting a bus in Aydin. After 11 weeks of airstrike, Saudi Arabia has failed to restore President Abid Rabu Mansour Hadi's exiled government to Sana'a. UN-sponsored talks start next week in Geneva, aimed at ending the war, which has killed more than 2,500 people. But there is little sign either Hadi or the Iranian-backed Houthis are ready to make compromises. Iran's envoy to the UN nuclear agency Reza Najafi declined to commit to the nuclear transparency measures part of the pre-deal Tehran and world powers reached in April. The White House had urged Iran to implement the additional protocol, which allows more intrusive access to Iranian sites, and asked Iran for notification of construction of any new nuclear facilities. Najafi also said that despite disagreement over the capacity of Iran's uranium enrichment program, a final deal could be sealed by the June 30th deadline. The UN has reported an increase of attacks against international peacekeepers and civilians in Sudan. The organization said that tens of thousands have fled their homes. Edmund Mule, UN peacekeeper deputy chief, has blamed the Sudanese government's military campaign for the lack of progress in peacekeeping efforts in Darfur. Last year, Sudan asked the UN to leave Darfur. This recent escalation in violence comes as the UN and the president Omar al-Bashir government hold talks to discuss an exit strategy for the UN. South Korea has reported that the number of Middle East Respiratory Syndrome deaths in the nation has risen to 10. The country has announced 14 more MERS-related cases, bringing the total number of infections in the country to 122. MERS, which has an incubation period of 2 to 14 days, is a coronavirus related to SARS. South Korea's MERS outbreak is the biggest in the world outside of Saudi Arabia. Thanks for watching Tedetseworld.com Istanbul.